Name's Regan. They call me the Lion's Eye. I get ten a day plus expenses. Yeah, it's enough to make you cry. But this is the way it started. It was about six o'clock last Monday night. I was at home cooling off when the phone started jumping left and right. It was Melody. She says, Mr. Lyons is calling. Right there, I had a feeling that the night would be appalling. I made it to the International Detective Agency. Melody was typing on the Underwood. We had a theme once, but uh, it was short and it didn't end good. She nodded toward the door where the line usually hid. I failed to watch my back and in a few seconds I wished I did. I took hold of the carpet with both hands as I felt something right before. I had the room spinning nicely. Then I hit the back of my head with the floor. I woke up to the room still spinning all over the place. I made it to a bathroom sink and I splashed some water on my face. Why was the dame so angry? It wasn't me that cheated and lied. But I did tell her that she was a village bicycle and everybody had taken a ride. She had worked her way through bicycle clubs. And now she was into private eyes. I was never lucky in lust and it led to my demise. My heart had cuts and tears and was covered with horrible scars. As she was working her way through the yellow pages and just had to stop at the R's. Well, my bicycle was double parked outside. I made it to the hall. I held tight onto the floor so I wouldn't have far to fall. The stairway suddenly turned upside down and began to walk up on me. Happy may go lucky, but lust nor love were free. It was all just a ruse to flatten my nose and part my hair. When it came to this thing called love, I certainly had more than my share. Somehow I straddled my bike, I strapped my helmet on. If I had worn it a little earlier, my head wouldn't be so far gone. I rolled down by the warehouses and crossed the railroad tracks. I pondered my aching head. Do you suppose she used an axe? I thought, let's let bygones be bygones. Forgiveness is the key. I continued to think, let's bury the hatchet, but let's not bury the axe in me. I thought I'd extend the olive branch. Quickly to her house I'd ride. When I got there, she was in her inner wear, and a Schwinn was parked outside. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm saying forever after.
you're not going to pick on me no more. But she didn't hear for her laughter. Yeah, love is a mini splintered thing. It hurts more than we'd like to admit. It rips your heart to pieces. And even where you sit. Well, it was a night to dismember. I wobbled back to my place. I got to remember to remember to put more courage in the suitcase. I pulled up to my apartment building. The widow was standing in the hall. She pulled off her glasses, put out her cigarette, and said, I've got a flat screen on the wall. I said, okay, I guess. Sounds like a pretty good plan. If I'd met you back in seminary, my grades would have been in the can. Name's Regan. I get 10 a day plus expenses. Spend most of my time burning bridges, erecting walls and building fences. I ride bicycles in traffic because I must be too young to die. I work for the International Detective Agency run by Anthony J. Lyons. They call me Lyons Eye. 